Sometimes, after a hard day's work, the only way to relax and get comfortable is to take a long shower, put on your favourite pyjamas, crack open a cold beer, and listen to some old feminist poetry. Of course, when I say poetry, I actually mean a monologue between four people who will shout at the same time but never actually achieve anything resembling a rhyme. I know, not all poetry rhymes, but seriously, the standard has gone well downhill in recent times. Now all you need is a blonde girl, one girl who can't stop scowling, and two minorities. So, sit back and let the culture wash over you like a tidal wave of shit. I hate it. Shit poem. Is there a speeding ticket you need to get out of? Would you rather show your tits to get into any bar for free? You might have to, love. A lot of places have a free entry for women policy to get more customers in doing their wanky little mating rituals. But in your case, I think you'd have to prove you're female first. I mean, look at you. And even then, you might have to pay anyway because that is not the sort of woman they're after, you know? Are you tired of opening doors for yourself? Look at me, woman. I'm a floating head. I can't open a door for myself. Does it bother you when you did want to give you his jacket? Well, thank fuck for subtitles, eh? I can't help but think she's hamming that accent up a bit for effect, though, because, you know, being a woman is hard enough, but being a foreign woman? Oh, well, now you've got yourself some oppression. Did you make a big mistake? More than you know, ladies. More than you know. Do you want to just blame it on PMS for the price of your father's ex chromosome? Price? Fuck, dude, they're free. And I think you knew that because by the looks of you, you had both his X chromosomes, didn't you, Butch? You'll receive the woman's card right to your doorstep. There will be an annual membership fee of 78 cents to a man's dollar. 64 cents if you're not a premium member. Ah, uh, yes, a little nudge there for the minorities. You have to let them off that one because this video is from a while ago and they didn't know the wage gap was a myth back then. I mean, they're not exactly enlightened on the subject nowadays either, but I fuck, I've lost my train of thought because I fucking hate this bitch so much. Will you fucking smile? You have literally nothing else going for you right now. Additional charges including the monthly cost of feminine hygiene products. Don't make me do another video on periods. It affected me. I freak out whenever I see the color red. Thank fuck Christmas is a while away. When purchasing a razor, it'll be two dollars more for the same product, but for you, it comes in pink. Oh, for fuck's sake, women's razors have like these bombs on them to protect your dainty female legs. And the razors are longer. I use a cutthroat to shave my face and you've got to be fucking steady with that shit, but you're welcome to try it. Just don't be surprised if you take off several layers of skin too. Use a man's razor, but don't complain that they don't work as well because they weren't designed for your filthy fucking armpits. The woman's card comes in different shades of oppression. The darker the card, the more chances you have of experiencing domestic violence, pay discrimination, and systematic racism. Right, domestic abuse. Don't shack up with someone who beats the fuck out of you. Pay discrimination, that's illegal, and you know it. If you're getting paid less than someone for the same job because of your skin colour, sue the shit out of your employer. Don't write a fucking poem about it. And systematic racism. I don't even know what that means. No one does. Just chuck a buzzword in there for good measure, yeah? If you're a black woman, you'll have the luxury of wasting $300 on hair products. You've got blue hair, motherfucker. You look like you threw a bleach block in the cistern of your toilet, pulled the flush, and then stuck your head in the bowl. If you paid $300 for that, you have no one to blame but yourself. I mean, could they not have given that line to someone else? Because you have to look like a white woman to receive the job you've been waiting for. Waiting for, yeah? Not actively pursuing? Because feminists won't work for fucking anything. They just stand there with their hands out and wait for good things to happen to them. If you're a Hispanic woman like my mother cleaning a house... Whoa! Oh, stereotypes, Dora. The owner is allowed to harass you all he likes. Oh, so women can't own houses then? And what are you counting as harassment anyway? Some kind of legal harassment if he can do it all he likes. Asking her to vacuum the living room carpet isn't the same thing, you know? Don't worry, you will not be able to respond in his language. Well, whose fucking fault is that? No wonder you think you're being harassed if you can't fucking understand him. But but you will still understand what he's doing. Smile, you miserable bitch! If you and your friends purchase the card together, one in three of you will be sexually assaulted. Oh, come on, love. It's not gonna be you, is it? Let's be realistic. Sultan, the only requirement being you must 
breathe in public. I'm down for this one, not breathing at all. Fucking hell, she looks like the child of an orc from Lord of the Rings and a stick. When carrying your woman's card walking home at night, 99.9% .9 of holders report that they experience cat calls, heckling, and, and even persistent flirting. Do you know, I have never seen four women so disappointed that none of them got raped. What is wrong with these people? Women in the work office claim that co-workers constantly remind them of their card. And it's privilege. Oh, so you're sick of being told you're privileged too, are you? Maybe stop fucking doing it yourself then. Like when your colleagues keep forgetting that you're not the intern. And, and refuse to see you as anything but a pencil skirt and stockings. One of you? Yeah, the one on the left. The rest of you have no business in a skirt. Do the world a favor, yeah? And you know, if it bothers you so much, you can wear trousers in the office. If you show a health provider your woman's card, you'll receive new and improved ways on how to deal with the aftermath of your boyfriend refusing to wear a condom. So don't have sex with him then. If he don't rub her up, you close it down. Or use a femidom, or go on the pill, or get an implant, or a coil. You're spoiled for choice. Choose any of them. Just don't write a fucking poem about it. That is terrible birth control. Control. You will find it is always your responsibility to clean up his mess. Yeah, offer your face. And even then, he'd probably find a tissue for you because, well, you can't see. However, Congress will even strip you of these decisions, convincing you that they have more rights over your body than you do. To be fair, you're letting him fuck you without any protection and then complaining about it afterwards. I'd say you four can't be trusted with your own bodies, especially the one with blue hair. I mean, come on, love, at least try. Don't be alarmed. These side effects are normal. Forwarding your education will heighten the possibility of assault. No, taking a course on gender studies will further the likelihood of you seeing sexual assault everywhere. Have no worry when you're raped behind a dumpster a block from your sorority. Justice will be served with a six-month sentence in the local jail. A steep price to pay for 20 minutes of action. 20 minutes? Fair play. Didn't that happen like once, though, with that Brock lad? Bit of a fuck up with that one, sure, but don't try to convince me that's a case with all convicted rapists. I know that's not true. Pretty sure that kid was rich as balls, too. That probably had a lot to play in the whole case. Daddy played golf with the judge or something. So, you know, only get raped by poor people, I guess. And let's be fair, only one of you has to worry about that, really. Is it privileged to lose our consent to the government? When most men hear the word equality, they only think about the right to hit women back. Yeah, hit women back. I'm not letting you gloss over that. Equal rights includes equal right hooks. And a lot of men think of getting shared custody of their children, organizations for male victims of domestic abuse and sexual assault, the same funding and media coverage for prostate cancer as is given to breast cancer. You know, all the things we don't have and are rarely mentioned by feminists who have their equality but want more equality than men. To call them what they'd like, to do what society has long accepted, I'm afraid to have a daughter. I'm I'm afraid for you to have a daughter. You would proper fuck her up. Oh shit, am I in the Brady Bunch right now? To be the one to teach her the purpose of rape nail polish and dress code. Rape nail polish is fucking fantastic. I don't know how you can shed a negative light on that. Sure, you wouldn't need it if we just taught men not to rape. Because we're unaware of that fact, aren't we? You've got serial rapists with tally charts tattooed on their arms to show their number of victims and their cellmates like, uh, you do know rape's wrong though, don't you? It is? Oh shit, what have I been doing? Why didn't anyone tell me? As for dress code, well, don't walk into a lion's den wearing a suit made of meat. It's a bit shitty, but if you don't want to get raped, don't provoke it. I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm saying there are measures that can be taken to decrease the probability. And saying, but I shouldn't have to, isn't a valid point. It's fucking stupid. But if you do want to be raped, well, it's not rape then, is it? So joke's on him. I'm afraid to have a son. Fucking hell, I'm afraid of you having a son. Straight out of the birth canal, you'd be berating him and calling him a rapist. You would all be terrible mothers. Your kids will grow up terrified. I'm afraid that mother knows best will mean nothing when manhood teaches him otherwise. In this case, mother hasn't got a fucking clue. If anything, this video is going to show him that. The woman card is a sponsored product of the patriarchy. If you receive a woman's card without ordering recent applications are prone to failure, processing the paper likely to be disregarded. The woman card is not affiliated with the government, Donald Trump, and misogynistic propaganda. 
Oh, we almost got to the end without you mentioning Trump. So close. Look, I don't think you get to use the word propaganda after spouting the biggest load of bullshit ever squeezed into three minutes. This was meant to be poetry, but all I saw was three women and a dumpster bitching about issues that either don't exist, aren't issues at all, or can't be solved. But if the stats the feminist pedal are to be believed, one of these four women will get raped in their lifetime, and that should give them some respect in their community, as well as something new to write about. Thanks for watching guys, please consider becoming a patron to keep this channel running and the cancerous content flowing. The link is in the description and remember... Are you tired of politely opening doors for others only to have it thrown in your face? Have you ever been turned down for employment or promotion because you don't fit a gender-based quota that needs to be filled? Are the rates of suicide in your gender so high that some people refuse to acknowledge it? Well, for the price of being born a certain way, you're eligible for the man card. A useless piece of paper that lumps you in with all those that shared the same chromosomes throughout history. There will be an annual membership fee of being called misogynistic and racist by those who have never experienced such things in their pathetic little lives. But don't worry, the man card also means you can be accused of rape at any moment and your life destroyed. Born Bonus features include higher rates of homelessness, an increased probability of being attacked in the street, an expectation to come to the aid of any female in distress without asking questions, to take physical abuse without defending yourself, losing your children, low level work and maintenance that's considered man's work, and of course, the requirement to stay silent when a feminist is talking because they know best, despite living sheltered lives in echo chambers that vibrate with the force of their own smug satisfaction. The man card is nothing to be proud of and will only be used as proof that you're a sexist piece of shit. The man card is in no way affiliated with actual equality between the sexes and will result in emasculation, ball shrinkage, and being called in to remove any spiders that appear in the bathtub.